Hi, and welcome to another episode of Road to Rehabilitation. Today we are meeting to answer two particular questions. First, is brain dominance really a thing? And second, is it right to always try to make your child right-handed? So, let's see how we can work that out. I tried writing with my left hand. I could do it, but, and it's the biggest but, I have to think a lot. Writing is not smooth. I have to think how to form each alphabet. I thought I knew it. Writing bold letters seems easier than small ones. It's taking me three times as long as writing with my right hand. It got me wondering, why on earth do we try to make lefties right-handed? The children, of course, I mean. It was a one-time confusion for me, but it happens to be a lifetime of confusion for them. To understand things comprehensively, Let's look at the theory of brain dominance. It has been postulated that each side of our spectacular brain has different functions assigned to it, though they are connected to each other. Our left brain is considered more digital kind of brain. You just saw me writing. So when I write, you saw my thought processes reflected on the side. That was my left brain functioning. Also, I was able to formulate words. That was again my left brain working. So if I try to write or even think about writing, do maths, apply logic, or try to tell you some facts, all of them becomes the function of my left brain. But my right brain has a different story to tell. It likes daydreaming. If I try to talk in any other way other than verbal, that is the non-verbal communication, or I imagine myself on a hilly area, or my sixth sense alerts me to something, or I feel I want to play music, I want to be an artist, here my right brain is twinkling like a star. But again, this is all a nonsense. It's a myth. The brain dominance is not that specific. The functions are assigned to both sides of the brain. It's just a matter of how actively we use those parts. That brings us to the question, when brain does not favor sides, then why should we? Is it tradition, culture, awkwardness? Of course, initially it could be awkward trying to write because most of the languages follow a left to right pattern. Also, most of the tools are also made for right-handed people. But that's what our brain is trained to do. Learn the skill to do the unusual. The second myth is, if we try to let our child be left-handed, it's going to lead to learning disabilities and confusion. On the contrary, if we force the child to become right-handed when there is a natural left-hand preference, by the way, it develops by three years of age, there can be serious implications. Would you like to know what you will be dragging your child into by this? Years of issues related to bed wetting. You won't be comfortable with that. There could be behavior problems like nail biting, a shyness and stage fright, a defiant kind of behavior. Cognitive issues can happen like poor concentration, problems with memory, an unusual amount of fatigue felt by the child, even with minimal activity. Speech problems could be happening, like stuttering, and as if this wasn't enough, even reading and spelling problems can happen. Wasn't that what we were trying to avoid over here? This clarifies so many things. Remember these points. You are going to drag your child into that with hardly any way to bring them out. 
There is, of course, but it is going to be a tedious process. Another interesting thing is some people are born ambidextrous. That is, they would do a few functions better with the right hand, maybe writing and use of tools. But some other functions they might be performing with their left hand, maybe typing or some other activity they are really good while doing with their left hand. So allow your child the independence to use whichever hand they prefer and don't force them. That is the takeaway message. So if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, add some comments about what you feel about this topic, anything that you have felt which was difficult about forcing your child to become right-handed and your child needed therapy for that or not and we will meet again. Bye.